a blow suppressor. Suppressor. All right, guys. So here we go again. How you doing? My name is Silas. It's Task Force Vlogs. We've got another weapon review for you. So let's get into it. And here you have it: the Jing Gong G608 assault rifle. So you might recognise the shape and the design based on the G36 series, the Heckler and Cock uh, series there. And uh, this is my brand new gun. It was 180 pounds, uh, Great British. And we're just going to jump on the website now. I'll show you where I got it from, how much it costs. We'll go through some stats. And then we'll get into pulling it out of the box, doing a little walk around, firing it, setting it up. All right, guys, and this is the site I got it from, patrolbase.co.uk. So if you're in the UK, you can do this. Um, I will say that you have to get them in 50% colour or you have to provide your Yukara licence. So if you do wear something already, you should have your licence. You should be good to go. Uh, if you go to this page, I'll show you what I mean by a different variants of G36. So it loves to load out. You'll have to get this sort of blue one. But you can buy bits that aren't coloured to uh, change it around. So I was specifically looking for a G36. And going through, you know, you've got this thing. But I hate the stock. The stock looks weird. So didn't want to do that one. And that's 130 quid. So keep going down. We've got the next one. We've got these two. We've got the tan one and this one. Don't look too bad. And you can buy a different mag. Yeah, by all means. But this, uh, the one where you can see the cogs and stuff. I know the G36 mags are see-through. You can see the bullets in them. Um, yeah, I don't like the look of that. And scrolling down, this is mine. And it also comes with a suppressor, which is nice. This is a Jing Gong G608-7 AR36C SD railed AEG with suppressor. So there you go. You can have a look at it. And going into it, folding stock, 20mm Picatinny, which is the same as your M4s and all that sort of stuff. 40mm counterclockwise threads, but it's a pre-installed suppressor, so it doesn't even matter, you've already got one on there. Uh, you can take it off, obviously, and put a, a flash hider or something on there if you wanted to. So this is a mission-capable AEG out of the box for rails and mounts. This is how much information are on these sites. This is all the information you can read through. But really, you scroll to the bottom. You've got your features and what the package includes. So it's a 470 round high capacity magazine. Comes with a suppressor, user manual, but also comes with a battery and charger, which is important. And like I said, you will need um, the little plug that comes with it. So 350 FPS straight out of the box, which is right on the limit for most airsoft in sights. It's got top rails, underneath rails, showed you all the rails on it. You can put anything on it. It's low weight, it's rock solid, it is, it feels really good in the hands. Ambidextrous and a really good um, weapon. And you've got the mini Tamiya as well, if you wanted to know what sort of um, battery connector it is. NIMH, and then yeah, comes in the box anyway, so it's pretty good. The description will be below. Feel free to click on it and have a look. Back to the video. Alright, now the boring stuff's out of the way. This is my M4. Fully set up for airsoft. Um... This is the bullet I had before. I had to get it 50% colour because I didn't have my licence yet because I didn't do my three games yet. I haven't done airsoft in about a decade until recently. And um, I've done four or five games now. And they give you the licence, the UCARA licence, UK ARA licence. And um, yeah, this is the one I use. We've got a little flippy up sight. We've got um, the red dot there. And also we've set up the torch, which is much needed in the CQB sort of stuff. So we'll be stripping this down. Um, all apart from the angled grip because I've actually ordered a vertical uh, grip for this one And we've been putting all this furniture on this awesome thing. So in the box you get your instructions You get a couple of targets in there uh, You got one battery Okay, and What I've noticed with these guys is um, they send these this is like a UK sort of shower um, Plug for your electric toothbrushes and stuff. I don't know why they do that for a few quid off Amazon, you can get this um, little adapter. It goes in like that and then charge it for five hours. Set an alarm on your phone. Five hours is what it needs to be. Let's get this bad boy out of the box. All right, and you get your little pokey stick as well. So blockages and things like that. So this comes with an internal built-in suppressor, as you can see, which is pretty cool. And as you can know that, full metal on this um, sort of quad rail at the ends there you've got attachments for grips attachments for lasers attachments for torches whatever you sort of want there and you've got this massive rail on the top for sights you've got a fully folding stock so when you're in those CQB situations you can bring it forwards and um, use it a bit better in that environment 
the magazine. <laughs> it is 450 rounds out of the box. So this is your magazine. And then what you do, pull that thing back and you pour them all down there, man. 450 of them. And it's a high cap mag, so you just wind up and it goes up the tube. So 450 rounds. Also, you notice these little clips on the side. If I get another one of these mags, chunk the clip together, and then when you need to reload, you can simply pull it out, turn it around, chunk, and put it back in, and you're good to go again. Awesome gun. Uh, different iron sights straight out the box. So you can have the small one or the big one, which is pretty good. And here you have a fold out thing, which will do the hop up there to be able to adjust how far they come out and go up, etc. Awesome, awesome design. You got um, safe, single, full auto. Okay, suppressor comes off. You can see there's a little quick release on there. All right, so the battery that come with it is dead as a dodo, so we're gonna charge that. We've got uh, my M4 batteries in here, the nunchuck ones. So this is a uh, single shot. This is full auto. So that's without the suppressor on. Okay, and then we are gonna hook it up properly after this battery's charged and we'll fire it with the suppressor on and see if it actually makes a difference. All right, so the battery's got a bit of charge. We're in, suppressor's on. It's a little less uh, echoey, so we're gonna get all the attachments on it now. We've stripped down the M4. This is now going to my uh, lad, Joey, who's gonna come airsofting with me. There is a full review of this on the channel. See how loud that is actually, let's do a comparison. I hope no suppressor. Suppressor. It is muffled. It is definitely muffled. All right. Let's get all these attachments on and see how it looks. So we're going with the torch attachment site and one million percent recommend the connector i've already had a uh, the reflex sorry the glass the plastic that uh, stops it the bb from smashing the side because they have lost a red dot sight not putting a protector on it okay that is a flash i'm going to wait for my uh, vertical fore grip to come here and i'm actually just going to cable tie it to the grip so i can have full control on when the torch actually comes on and off well, that is looking uh, pretty damn good already. All right, guys, and there we go. We've got the sight on, we've got the protector on. That's looking pretty sweet, especially with the torch on. We're just gonna have to wait for the foregrip, and I'll be holding it like that. And there you have it. That is gonna be my setup. Foregrip on, and we are complete. Maybe even another mag to clip to it would be quite cool. Let's fill the mag up. So, 470 round mag, this. Right, foolish, only spilled about 20. Um, that's locked and loaded. Oh, and also a sling to it as well, so when you got your, uh, when you go, you know, you can run around, flick it on, and you got somewhere to hang it off. Alright, so it takes a bit of the weight and you won't need that all the time. Attach it to your vest or whatever, you can just sling it over yourself, which is pretty good to have. But solid weapon, feels good. <laughs> Alright guys, and that is the G36. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe, and we'll catch you next one. Peace.